Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial today, and this is going to be a quick tutorial and showing you how to create an animation in Unity and be able to play that animation in Unity. You can see in my scene here, I have got the Door Interaction Kit, which is something that you can download for free on the Unity Asset Store, and it's got a bunch of interactions for doors with its trigger, raycast, pressing a button, using a key, or having the hinge. But today I'm going to be using this as a base, and you can use any object, but my object here is my door. And you can see that when I select the pivot point on the edge, which is from the 3D program, when I rotate around the angle, you can see that it moves on that pivot point because I specified that pivot point in the 3D program. If you don't have a pivot point, you can just create an empty game object and position it just here. Then put your door inside that empty game object and then if you rotate that empty game object, it will do the same thing. You select on your object you want to animate. You need to go to Window, Animation and Animation. And then when you're there, make sure you select your door and to begin animating the door trigger that I've got here, you can click create animation. Then we're going to give it a name and we're just going to call this, I'll just have this as door open. You can see that door open creates an animation clip and a trigger door animator. So now we've got an animator on the door and it's got the animator controller on there, which you can see from down there. And we've got the door open animation. We can untick it so we don't loop it or you can have loop if you want the animation to always loop but that's not what we want. What we can do now, we can go and when we're in the animation editor, you can dock this wherever you want. I just like to have it at the bottom here. Now what we can do is click record. We can go to at the end, which is around one second. We can go to the rotate tool. You can hold control and I like to just rotate it 90 degrees. Now that when you play the animation, you get that door clip just like so. Now, when we've created our animation, you could create a second animation, which is in this drop down. You can create a new animation clip and it will keep the same controller, but it will add a new animation. We can go to window animation animator and we can go to the animator tab, which will appear and you will get the state machine here. Now, what you could do is I like to just put all these together. So the entry state, which is the starting, moves straight to door open. So as soon as we play this scene, it would play that animation. What we can do is we can right click, create state and choose empty. And now an empty state doesn't do anything. We can give it a new name and we can just call this say uh, idle. So it's what the door is going to do at the start. We can right click and make it set it as the default state. So as soon as the game starts, the animation will do nothing because an animation doesn't exist in that at the current time. You can see this door open is the animation that we've got that we want to play or move to. What we can do is we can copy that and we can press control V to paste in again. And then it will have a copy of, of door open. We can just call this door close, press enter. And then if we set the speed to minus one, it'll do exactly the opposite. So it'll almost be like it's closing back on itself. And now that's set up, we can just create a simple script to play this. So we can just create a uh, right click in the project, create a C sharp script, call this play anim. And what we'll do is we'll open up in visual studio. And as simple as this is, all we need to do is make a reference to our actual animator from the door. So we can say serialized field in square brackets, private animator. And then we can call this my door, my animation, whatever it may be set it equal to null. Cause it doesn't need to be anything at the start. Then we can have anything we want in a method that we might want to play but we'll use this on a trigger so we'll say void on trigger enter and then in brackets collider other then we'll say that if other dot compare tag in brackets in quotes player then we'll just have two curly brackets below and let's say that my door dot play and then we need to put or specify in quotes what the animation is we're going to play. So what we could do is in this case, if we want to use this script on many objects, we could set a new animation variable. So we could say private string door open equals in quotes door open because that's the name of our animation, but we could change this later in our script. So we can add that variable in here. So we can grab door open the variable, paste it in here, and then we can um, the next instance that we need into plane animation we need the actual layer that it's on and that would be zero and then now we can set an offset time which which by default is also zero 
if you go back into Unity and check the animator, you can see that the base layer is always zero. So it starts at zero. So if you had any layers above, it would be anything else because you can break your animation into several layers. So now we could go to this object that we created and I like to just dock my animation window back down there. You can see that I already had a script which had a trigger door script on it. I will remove that because we don't need that now. I can play door anim. You can see that it's looking for my door so I can add the trigger door to it. And the animation is already there so we can edit this depending on what other animation that we may have created and we'll be able to play it. You need to make sure that your player has got a tag of player and this trigger is set to is trigger with a box collider. Now when we press play and we walk into this, you can see that the door now opens. So like I said, it's a way to be able to create really simple animations, be able to change these animations in the state machine and then being able to make a really simple script just to control playing the animation, setting the layer, the name and the offset if you want any delay on your actual animation itself. So hopefully this helped you out and be sure to check out my great assets on the Unity store. Have a look at my community discord if you want to chat and support me on Patreon if you like the channel. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.